Welcome back guys to EE Tech Reviews and today we're going to be making a custom gaming keyboard with the GK61X keyboard base and Jade switches. Again, this is a very fairly simple project to make your own custom gaming keyboard. What you're going to need is that base keyboard, which you can see is blank. You're going to buy your set of switches and then you're going to buy your set of keycaps. This is a very simple project. There is no literal wiring. There's no soldering. It's plug and play. And it's great if you want to go out and make in a custom feel, a custom look to your gaming keyboard. So as you can see, you're going to have to buy around, I bought about 70 switches. You're going to need a little bit of extra switches in case any go bad. And as you can see, there's two pins. They match up purely right on the keyboard. They only fit in there one way. And it's just a light press, uh, firmly press right down on the key, and they pop right in. And again, this is something where I'm going to link all the items to what you need in the description. There's not too much engineering behind any of this. It's purely, hey, I want to make my own keyboard. I want it to look a certain way. I want it to feel a certain way and I want it to sound a certain way as I use it. The software we're not going to talk about, it's pretty bad, but basically all you need to know is that you get that keyboard base, you buy your switches, you plug the switches in properly, and then you get your keycaps. So just one item on here to know, as you can see those control keys, the, you want to have that proper spacing to where you almost barely see any little space between the keys. So when you look at keycap sets on whatever websites you go to, I linked to one on Amazon as well. Some of them might not actually fit properly. And you'll see that as we get a little farther down into this video. But what I did was I found a beautiful set that I really liked. It had the English in blue and then with the Japanese hiragana characters there in red. And it filled about... 95% of this keyboard very very well but it turns out that as you get more towards that bottom right corner and you'll see it the spacing of the keys actually doesn't match up that well you see that space bar and then just to the right there's that alt key there's a little bit too much space so just for those specific keycaps I had to go and just find a separate set that had the exact spacing but again, this is where your creativity comes in. You can literally buy blanks. You can, if you really wanted to, have someone paint every single key for you. Make it a custom work of art. Really, the sky's the limit for what you can do. You can buy any type of switches you want. Cherry MX Brown, Red, any of those gaming companies, they make their own switches. And again, now you're probably going to look at and see the final product. I think it looks awesome. It's got that Japanese feel. I really like One Piece. It's one of my first anime, and I'm still watching it, which is crazy. But I love that space bar. I threw it in. And again, you can really customize every single aspect. So after this, we're going to go take a quick engineer score and just quickly go over a little bit more of an in-depth review on this entire experience. But again, the installation is very simple. It's literally plug and play. All right, guys, as everyone's been waiting for, the best part the sound ASMR. Versus here, the Corsair K70. Alright guys, now for a final review here of the custom GK61X, this RG swappable keyboard. It cost about 205 bucks, and I honestly did this because it's a great quick project that anyone can do, especially during COVID. It's fun. You get your own keyboard. It, it performs how you want, how you feel, how it should sound, etc. 
So I'm going to give this overall project a 4.11 out of 5. Price, I'm going to say it's a little on the pricey side. You can go to Corsair, Razer, any of those big brands, get your own fancy $200 gaming keyboard, and it's going to be perfect. But again, this is a custom project. You can get everything that you want done that you want. So you can see the price breakdown. It's a little pricey, but for what you get, it's good quality. The keyboard base, it's about 70 bucks. You can use any keys you want. You can use any keycaps. You can use any switches you want. I suggest, again, going out, buying a bunch of different switches, seeing which ones you think feel and sound the best. And then, again, you can customize everything else about that. So I've got a fancy little space bar. You can have someone go paint every bar if you really want. Basic keycaps. So I just got some other ones for the different colors, etc., to fill in gaps. Now, build quality, it does feel great. It's a little bit heavy, which is nice. The keys feel solid. The switches feel great. The sound feels good. So build quality is fine. Don't worry about that. Again, value, this is purely a project. I'm going to say it probably shouldn't be what you spend your money on if you want a great gaming keyboard. But if you want a gaming keyboard specifically that works for you, sounds the way you want, then yeah, it's worth it. The Windows app. I didn't get into it. There's a lot of configurations that you can do, but it's it's not the best. It's a little like non-intuitive. There's some issues with it. So I'm going to say don't even worry about the keyboard app. Typing experience, once you get everything locked in, how you want it to look, how you want it to feel and sound, I actually really like typing on it. I think that's one of the strong points. Gaming, um, it's pretty much the same for the typing experience. You definitely feel the click, so you know exactly if your inputs are in or not. There's none of that second guessing. But again, you have to physically press hard enough to where you feel the click, which is what I like. So I know that I didn't mess up or fall off by accident by not clicking or something. And cool factor, I think it's great. It's definitely something that you can use to personalize how you want your keyboard to look. It tells something about you. And it's a fun project to do when you're stuck at home. So my overall recommendation is go for it. But just with some caution, there's so many options. There's so many ways to customize it. So don't start buying 50,000 things at once. You're going to blow all your money again. So just be aware of what you're looking for. Research every single thing you can. And then make the decision and put it all together. And that's it for the review, guys. Please like and subscribe. We finally hit 100 subscribers, so we're making progress. And I'll see you guys in the next video. Thanks.